Now that we've taken a look at exponent properties individually, let's look at how they can be combined together. And to do that, I have a tip to consider that we will generally follow order of operations. So generally, we're going to want to simplify anything I can in parentheses, any exponents outside of parentheses that need to go into factors, anything that's multiplied and divided together, and then finally, any adding or subtracting of like terms. So for example, let's do 4x to the negative fifth y squared z squared times 2x squared y to the negative 2 x squared z cubed all to the fourth power. Now, first thing I'm going to do is look inside the parentheses to see if there's anything inside the parentheses that needs simplifying. One thing I see inside the parentheses is negative exponents can move around. Another thing I see in parentheses is we can combine these x's together in that single set of parentheses. So the first parentheses then becomes 4y squared z with the x to the fifth moving down. The whole thing is still squared. For the next set of parentheses, we'll see that y to the negative 2 moves to the bottom as y squared. There's still a 2. But there's also an x squared times an x squared. And when the bases match, we know we can add the exponents to get x to the fourth, z cubed, and the whole thing is to the fourth power. Now that we've gone through and simplified the parentheses, we'll look at any exponents outside of parentheses. An exponent outside the parentheses, when it goes in, is going to go onto each and every factor. So 4 squared is 16. For the y, the double exponent gets multiplied. 2 times 2 is 4. z squared over x to the 5 times 2 is 10. Then as the 4 goes into the second one, 2 to the fourth power, is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. x to the 16th, 4 times 4. z to the 12th, 3 times 4, over y to the 8th, 2 times 4. Finally, we can simplify this by multiplying across and subtracting from the denominators. In other words, we've got a 16 times 16 numbers. 16 times 16 is 256. On the y's, I see a y to the fourth on top and a y to the eighth on the bottom. When I subtract, I get y to the negative fourth. Since it's negative, I move it to the bottom as y to the fourth. For the x's, I see x to the 16th over x to the 10th. Subtracting those exponents gives me x to the sixth, positive, so it goes on top. And then finally, the z's, I've got a z squared and a z to the 10th. Those are both on top. Going across, we know to add those exponents. So we get z to the 14th. And that gives us our simplified expression, 256 x to the 6th, z to the 14th, over y to the 4th. Let's do one more example. Let's try 2x squared y to the negative 3, all to the negative 4 power, times x to the 4th, y to the negative 6th, all to the negative second power, all over x to the negative sixth, y to the fourth, all squared. Now remember I said we generally are going to follow order of operations. There's a little bit of flexibility with that. For example, here I could simplify inside the parentheses and move those negative exponents, but then I have to make a little fraction for each set of parentheses. I can't move it out. So rather than doing that, let's jump right to the exponent step. And let's move that negative 4 in to its factors, move the negative 2 onto each of its factors, and move the positive 2 onto each of its factors. Remember, when an exponent goes in, we multiply double exponents. So we start out with 2 to the negative fourth power. Let's just write that as negative fourth. We'll talk about that in a minute. 
Um, x to the 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. y to the negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. x to the 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. y to the negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. Over x to the negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. And y to the 4 times 2 is 8. Now that we've done that, now that there's no more parentheses, let's move those negative exponents around and fix them. So all those negative exponents are going to move to the opposite location. So the 2 to the 4th moves to the bottom. The x to the 8th moves to the bottom. The y to the 12th stays. The x to the negative 8th moves to the bottom. The y to the 12th stays. x to the negative 12th moves up. x to the 12th on top and y to the eighth stays where it is on the bottom. Now let's see what we can combine and simplify into our final answer. For the y's, we'll add the exponents 12 plus 12 to get 24, and subtract the eight on the bottom. 24 minus eight is 16. So we've got y to the 16th. It's positive, so it stays on top. For the x's, I have eight plus eight on the bottom gives me 16. 12 minus 16 is x to the negative 4, so I move it to the bottom as x to the positive 4. The only other thing to simplify would be this 2 to the 4th. I can go ahead and simplify 2 to the 4th. That's going to be 16. And so I have y to the 16th over x to the 4th for my final answer. Combining the exponent properties together, practice those to get really, really good at them. Good luck.